everybody it's Catherine and welcome to Tuesday Sewing. Now before I start on our slow stitch squares I'd been promising that I was going to show you another cube from my storage shelves and as uh, soon as I got to get my beads out um, I thought I'd show you this one. So these all fit into another one of those cube boxes and um, Basically these are all my buttons and then this is my bead, my bead container. So these are just takeaway, Chinese and Indian takeaway containers that come with your takeaway. So I just label them all. So these are all, come on my pitties, come on my pitties. <laughs> love them these are contemporaries as I call them so they're modern colours brights oh no sorry brights brights then I have one that's got contemporary in so modern designs I've got large unusual in here so these are like things like big buttons and uh, you know big toggles that sort of thing in there and uh, handmade handmade buttons that sort of thing in there so that's those this I keep all my wooden bits and bobs in so you know all my wooden pieces wooden frames and little birdies and things in there flowers in this one so any bits and bobs of flowers, paper flowers, vintage, that's just a few vintage ones that I keep in there. These are sort of the vintage but they're not ancient. Uh, I've got another one for that. This one's got all metal work in it. So metal buttons pins, carabiners, that sort of thing. Ooh, nearly lost them on the floor there. David, do you mind taking them away? Please put them back in. Sorry. I'm not doing my job. <laughs> oh dear. And then this big oh, one. Falling out. Well, you know what your job is next, don't you? Put them all back up again. This is a mixture of um, vintage and actually I have I do have some uh, some baker light ones and that which are antique and some still on the cards. I do have loads of because uh, I ended up buying you know what I'm like with my sizes buying what I thought was a small bag of buttons off eBay. And now I've got thousands, so um, you know. Let me know. I think in a, uh, splitting them into smaller amounts. So, um, so that is vintage and antique in there. This and then this. I've got this. This is about eight pound off for Amazon, and this is my little jewelry kit and pliers and bits. Best thing. Best thing. Now, if anybody can tell me what this thing is, I haven't got a clue because I'm not a jewelry maker as such. So. Yeah, let me know if you know what that is. So that's that. And then my beads, my beads and bits all go in here. So these are what we're going to be working with today. And I've got all sorts that tend to be, uh, yeah, tend to go and get them by the weight. There is a website where I go and buy my beads. Well, we go in person normally. It's in York and we usually go um, about three times a year from sewing group and yeah just add some more to my stash. So they're my trays of bees. These are great bees. These are like in uh, triples. Now there's the, uh, the little mirrors, shisha mirrors jewelry findings, wire, that sort of thing. 
Okay, these are actually, I saved these in the disposable medication pots from hospital and they're great for putting your beans in. So we'll have one of those today. Um, do we need anything off there? Not at the minute. Right, okay. So I usually use really fine thread. Um, silk or something along that nature when I'm doing beading and uh, beading needles I'm ready to get some more actually I've only got one left and uh, yeah got a little beading scissors in there got my beading needle I mean you can get away with not having a beading needle if you're doing large beads but uh, you know if not you need a, a really flexible fine needle and yeah our squares so i want to do show you a bit of couching first and then we'll do a bit of beading uh so this is the one from uh last week so now i've uh, which way did i have it that way so now i've done some more sewing on there and uh, done some more layering and stuff i've done some couching not couching bullion knots there for you uh, and I've put some bullion knots along here on this week's so this week I've got one of my little Indian trims and I've put that on there so we'll use green because it'll be easier I need to wrap these around my card because we're getting a bit tangled up now I'll set myself up and show you these and then when we're beading we can we can have a chat can't we that's already got a knot on the end that's no good I can't split it so I'm going to split this in this embroidery floss into threes I mean like we've talked about before it doesn't really matter how many you know you get different effects from different thicknesses there we go And it's going to tangle. I've been doing this all morning. It didn't tangle once. <laughs> Okie dokie. It's gone really dark here, guys. So I'm sorry. We've got every light on we can. Uh, you know, even the, uh, the, what, the, you know, the real light daytime the big daytime ring light thing and uh, it's awful it's suddenly gone really cloudy and really dark okay then um i suppose everybody does them slightly different i've got slightly different technique and uh, you know this is just mine um you can use your your bullion knots anywhere really so if you just want to fill an area there um you can do if you want to use it to edge where you've joined in two pieces of material there and also what looks it's a bit of cut off there what does look effective really is if you do some edging um, you can do them around the edge to give an edged effect so I'm just going to do a few up here and I like to uh, it doesn't really matter but I like to start left and work my way upwards okay so I've got my thread in here and how I do so what I do is I put it down where your thread is and bring it up right next to where your edging is going to be okay hold your floss to the left hold your needle out right and then we're wrapping it round like one two three four five six seven eight i'm doing this time doesn't matter how many you do it depends how long you want it okay now we're going to carefully very carefully very carefully pull these off the needle pull it very carefully off the needle and we're going to pull them down 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 so we're pulling them very carefully off the needle and then we're pulling them down 
the thread okay so you've got your whole of your knots here and you've got like this little edge here so David zoomed in a bit see if you can see it better so we've pushed that down neatly and what I then do is I pull my thread back down like that and you can ease these up if you want to make them neater and then you put the needle back through where you set off from okay so again back up you've got to be patient with it because it's not one of those that you can really rush put your needle in where you started take your needle up to where you want the thread so obviously if you want a really long one you're going to start further down here and put no knots around it okay so the other thing is um, be quite tight with the first one because you know you get too big a loop at that end if you don't so one two three I just anchor it with my finger as I'm going round four five six seven eight they're all to that end and we're going to pull our needle through the knots through 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 the knots okay till they're near down there and then we're going to pull our you see that we're going to pull our thread back to where we started and push it through okay I hope you got that so back up again there's loads of other people you can go and watch on the internet as well on YouTube where we started take it up to where you want the length to finish one two three four five six seven eight I've just chosen eight hold this quite taut in your left hand otherwise you're going to get if you want loads of curly bobbles that aren't very neat then that's fair enough you don't have to so we just just got to be patient edging those off pull this through so when you first pull it through can you see you've still got all your threads going round so to neaten it off we pull this thread down and we thread the, the knots upwards a bit if you need to back up the back up the line and take it through where you started does that make sense to you David if you want, didn't know how to do it I can't even stitch in time so no matter but, yeah. is that yes yeah. okay right back up where we start right back up for your next stitch okay now take it up there underneath my thread take your first one round quite tight two three four five six seven eight keep that to the left slowly slowly pull your needle through all your little loops don't pull it too tight yet bet that's post <laughs> our post comes late guys we're late to filming today it's I don't know half past two-ish I mean most people in the UK tend to get their post in the morning uh, we don't it's about half past two when it comes and then pull it through okay and there you've got do one more and then I'm going to go on to some bit of beading okay so back where we started take it through first one hold it tight two three four five six seven eight don't matter how many you put through pull it slowly pull 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 all your knots into a nice row push it back down where you came 
where you came from. If you were doing your edging, you'd take it, you know, take it over so that you'd So take it, instead of coming through, you take it off. Yeah. And we'll do more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I'm seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you can also do it with thicker thread. More strands in your thread. I want to make a mess of this now because... Got a knot. No, it's me. You know where your thread end is. Yeah, that's it. My thread end has gone down. Okay. So we'll pull them out a bit more. Spread them out a bit. Cause the... Okay. And then what you can do there is, I, if I want them, you can bring it back to there if you want a bit of a loop. Or what you can do is take it down take it down there so you've got it hanging over and do it like that let's do one here let's do one here so take that out there through one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull them through. Slowly, slowly pull through. <coughs> it's going to knot on purpose now, isn't it? <laughs> it's got caught in here. it's done is it's got stuck from there so okay so I've unthreaded it off camera because it was going to take forever okay so that's that little one we've done there so again through here take it to the edge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's plain silly devils because it's getting caught. That's better. It's getting caught on the wadding. Sometimes you'll find when you've got wadding through it and you've just got to be patient and tease it. Tease it through. Okay. And I'm going to tease this bit through because we're nearly at the end I'm trying look I should just swap it for some new thread shouldn't I mm -hmm. instead of trying to make do look that's why because that's it there we go So you just straighten it out so sometimes you know you've just got to even if you're used to doing it it doesn't always play ball and back where you started pull it through so I'll just do it one more time because this corner is played up okay start at where you st at the beginning take it through and again not got much cotton left have I one No, I want to get some fresh cotton. I'm trying not to, and for demonstration purpose, I shouldn't be such a skin flint, should I? Hey, shouldn't be such a skin flint, Catherine. Mm. Right, let me get rid of that. There's my other. You'll be going, hey, it's behind you. There we go. Mm. 
being quiet for me, aren't I? Hey. Right, we've got plenty now instead of me being stingy. So, where we want to start. Don't remember, start next to where you come, come out, move further along where you want your line to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, say, ten. Okay, move them to adding your needle and then just slowly, that's better you see when you've got more thread, slowly tease them along, tease, tease, tease them along and pull this down and back in where you started. There you are and there's your thing. I'll just do one more and then I'll get on to my beading. So right where your cotton comes out, take it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you've got them on there. Hold your string out. Just slowly, slowly. And as I say, You'll probably find somebody that uh, makes it look a lot easier than I do. And if you're left-handed, then, you know, find if you can. I know Rachel at Roxy Creations is left-handed and I think Melanie Sullivan is. So if you want some left-handed stitching uh, ideas. Okay. So I'm going to finish that off there now, just for now. Uh, and I hope any problems, any you want to ask any questions whatsoever about the the bullion knot, then you know. Don't ask me. No, don't ask David. Don't ask him. He won't know. <coughs> okay, so that's that. Right, I'm going to go to beads now. Okay. Right, let's have a look. These are the bigger beads in here, I think. These are nice. They're really pretty. Can you see that nice glistening? Really nice, aren't they? Right. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm concentrating. It's been a bit one of them rigmarole days. One of them days. Okie dokes. So how are you all doing? Oh, yeah, okay. We've had it's oh it's been one of them rush round days today. Um, I had to go and get pick some equipment up from the hospital. Okay, so I've threaded my silk thread on my beading needle, which is really flexible, which I'll need for these little seed beads. Now I've decided that I'm going to do some seed beading around here. Everybody, I think, has got their own way of beading. Um, I've been on a few courses, but I'm not the expert by any means. But depending on the look you want, we were always taught with the little seed beads is you, if you want it to be flat so you can see, just put a couple of little stitches on. There we go. Right, okay, so what was I saying? Yes, so I'm right now. I should be able to just crack on with this. Um, <clears throat> am I in? Am I in? Can you see all right from there, David? Please. You can move across to the right a bit. I can't. I'd rather. Uh, can, are we all right? Can you see it here? Yes, yes, yes. You're just to the left of the camera. Okay. The screen. 
that's fine then. Okay, so I'm just, just sewing these little seed beads on. They're beautiful, these. The colours on them are gorgeous. Um, yeah, so um, I had to go and get some equipment, pick some equipment up to do a test at the hospital on Saturday. Um, and it's a sleep study test that I'm having to do. Um, because um, they wanted to outrule that I haven't got this sleep apnea. Um, where you, you briefly stop breathing at night um, and because I'm asthmatic and um, also uh, I've been hospitalised a few times with AF well we call it AF here I know you call it AFib in America um, <clears throat> and there is a connection with uh, sleep apnea and people that get AF so this has been on I've been on the waiting list <coughs> Anyway, they asked if I'd go Saturday and pick this stuff up and do it Saturday night. Well, I don't know if any of you's ever done it, but what a carry on. Um, being hooked up to this stuff, you've got a cannula up your nose and it's monitoring, you know, breathing. And thing around your chest and wires stuck to your legs. I mean, I don't know how they expect you to get any sleep with all that on. But anyway, we did it. I did it. And uh, it was, you know, it was, it was okay, but it's not the most comfortable of things to do. Te took it back. Anyway, they've rung me this morning to say it wasn't working right. Can I do it again? Oh, and your heart just sinks, doesn't it? So they said, would I go and pick it up? So David and I went, zoomed up there, up to the hospital again and, uh, and went to pick it up. So I've got to do it again tonight. So we're rushing round doing that and uh, and then uh, walk the dog. So it's been one of those. I hope to goodness it works this time because it, you know. But it's one of them things that I knew, you know, it was, I knew we got it on right. Look, hand, you've got one there. Oh, thank you. Baby. I don't want you to lose it. Thank you. I do, I mean, I don't, you know, I, with, especially with the seed beads, I sew them all on individually, uh, like, like this in a string, because if you don't, if you just string them all on, I mean, it's all right if you're doing a dangle or whatever, but then if, you, if it, one of them breaks or whatever, the whole lot comes off, so um, it's no trouble to to just sew them on individually like this for me so uh, yeah and I know quite a few of you were saying that you love doing beadwork so it, uh, it did well coming out out today as uh, not today but when we did it on Monday yesterday was Monday only yesterday yeah. <laughs> oh dear lost track on yeah David's having a ferret in my feed, in my feed, in my seed things. There's a load come out in the bottom of that one, isn't there? Mm -hmm. These trays, these triple trays are really good. I don't know where we got, I can't, can't remember where I got them from. Probably Hobbycraft. Uh, I've had them quite a while. Has it seen that token that's in bottom? Is that for the Royal Bath? Roman baths. Roman baths, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a token there, look. And uh, it's to get in the uh, the uh, baths at, in Bath. Now, being a northerner, you know, it's I call it Bath. But, you know, there are those, those that, uh, as they get further down south, they call it Bath. For us, we're going to say, I, I, you know, you say to the kids, come on then, it's bath time. Uh, but some people say it's Bath time. So the city of Bath or Bath uh, is a beautiful city in the south. And uh, it's where the, um, the Roman baths are, where they used to take the waters, where they used to come and uh, take the waters for the health. There's another one in Harrogate. Harrogate's a lot nearer to us. Harrogate's northwest of us. How many miles would you say it is, David, to, to Harrogate from here? Forty-five. About forty-five miles. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
and so we've still got we've still got the thing we didn't go in because when we were there the queues were horrendous and uh, it was actually a trip and we had a fabulous day didn't we, yeah. we it was for um, my mum and dad and my sister um, so it was 10 years ago for my 50th birthday they I always wanted to go on the Orient Express or the Northern Bell which is the Northern you know the oh sorry I knocked you the Northern Bell is the other big train that's like the Orient Express but um, starts you know we starts off further north and um, and we went on there we we and we met some lovely friends we've got some good friends that we actually met on that trip we were all this other couple we were all on the uh, on the same table oh and it was fabulous because you go you know you go all dressed up and um if you think like murder on the orient express it was it's very much like that in the carriages and uh yeah i don't know if we've got some we've got some photos we could put Somewhere. we could put those on at the end if we can find them uh oh and it was gorgeous and uh you know everything you had a meal but it went to bath and uh, uh you know you could spend some time there and we'd not been there to bath before um so uh, we don't want to spend you know some of our time there just going around the uh going around the roman baths so uh, we've still got our ticket so it's 10 years 10 years old that <laughs> uh, so we had a gorgeous day and then you get back on the train and then it's all oh beautiful silver service dinner champagne and although i'm allergic to i can't drink wine anymore i'm allergic to sulfites in wine and champagne and uh there he goes there he goes um yeah so i've digressed haven't i but yeah anyway you've heard another little story <laughs> another little story so uh, i'm sorry if i sat you know i've i was concentrating earlier not to oh, i keep losing my beads now these are gorgeous aren't they so apparently i haven't got much time left because i was that busy uh we spent quite a bit of time on doing the couching stitch we're just getting going aren't we we're just getting going and it's time to finish anyway hope that you were able to follow the uh the couching stitch i hope you have a go at that and you find it okay and um yeah as i say go and check out uh what am i doing there i'm back into doing wrap it round my needle i'm a bit tired i think it's all this messing about with this sleep testing equipment thing um so we haven't had a chance to have much of a natter today so sorry guys the 40 minutes 40 minutes is up so um yeah i think that's about it then so hope you are doing well all of you hope you uh have fun doing some of the bullion knots and um have a go with some of your beading i i'll enjoy beading i find the beading relaxing as well and uh yeah we might have some dangles off here we'll see okay then so thank you for joining me it's about to cut out and uh we'll see you all on thursday that'd be exciting we're making paper beads so don't forget to get your paper ready all right then guys bye for now